wanaume a wanaume e wanaume a my boys e my boys a unfortunately sina biz hi guys and welcome back to yet another episode hapa kwa mheshimiwa benda you know uh, uh, i've realized that uh, most of my viewers uh, most of my fans uh, wako age between 25 years at that 5 years of age and funny enough that's one of the trickiest and one of the uh, very difficult age in life kwa sababu uko pale ndi umemaliza maneno ya shule ndi umepata the first job ndio pia uko katika harakati za kutafuta mrembo ndio pia uko katika harakati za kujiuliza sasa mimi na hii maisha yangu yote kwa nini nilizaliwa kudu who am i how do i want in life at this same same particular time that's when you have first born second born and probably third born ako tu hapo in between so this one of the most uh, hardest uh, age gap of a, a normal young man the reason why i've said this is because i'm in that cluster and i really understand what most of our most of our youth especially boy child is going through and that that's the reason why nimekuja at least uh, so many men there who have been watching me who are my number one fans uh nimesema ya kwamba nimekuwa nikitetea girl child na ati nimesahau boy child ameachiliwa sana uh, boy child hakuna mtu wa kumtetea and that's the reason why nimekuja kuchukua hii video ni sema ya kwamba men tuko kwa the same same situation na waelewa sana ile situation ya kuchanganyikiwa but all in all lazima tupabane na lazima to come out successfully so aha uh, i wanted to to share about uh, what maybe uh, enye ki, ile kitu unaweza angalia kwa msichana uone this girl uh, sidhani kama tunapelekana vizuri in terms of relationship uh, you know so many things have been going around napata watu kwa relationship watu mtu ame amekuwa na ma girlfriends kama kumi wengine ni kama watatu body count ndio hiyo ina hit 100 sijui aje ma relationship marriage as work eh watu wamepatana wameachana and that's the reason why nimeona it fit nikuje ni share hii video ni semea kwamba some of the signs zenye unafaa kuangalia kwa mwanamke ujue huyu hakuna pahali tunaedanisha na yeye point number one. point number one. the most important point to look for in a woman for marriage mwenye unataka kuoa unanisikiza hebu hebu toka kwa noise hebu kwanza tokeni kwa noise right umetoka kwa noise eh? umezima hizo ma tv na ma radio zina, zinaogea huko good kitu ya kwanza kuangalia kwa mwanamke what is in between her ears ni nini iko hapa hmm? and how well do you know ni nini iko hapa kwake haya assuming you come across across this lady a very beautiful lady or a msichana tu wa stani ako tu hapo hajachapa amekunaise eh, umeamua kuingia die umeoba namba ama umeingia dm yake umeanza kuchat the very first time don't even wait ati akuambie umtumie fair mtumie fair so inategemea na distance of course kama uko around Nairobi so hapo ni anything below a thousand kwa sababu ya tatumia labda uba ni nini nini mtumie 1k within Nairobi kama ametoka other counties unaweza ongezea maybe 1500 or whatever or 2k 
So amekuja. So msichana amefika ile kitu ulikuwa umemtayarishia ume ume umsave ni nini nini umekula umeanza kuogea even hata before usikibililie mechi hizi mechi tutulie wanaume ni kemani tutulie tutulie tuende pole pole eh? ama kama wewe ni mtu wa kukanyaga na kuenda siogelelei mambo yako wewe kwanza toka kidogo Wa, e, wacha sasa wengine waingie wa kuangalia marriage wenye sasa wako hiyo umri ya kutafuta marriage partner hmm? So after huu mrembo amefika kitu ya kwanza amekuja na uba ama amekuja na uba baridi kama amekuja na dudhi ni nini ni agalia mguu ni nini ni hizo zote waachana nazo we strongest ulituma fear na amefika well and good clap for her now 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 sasa agalia behavior yake eh Ju, eh agalia kama eh, kitu ya kwanza si ulikuwa umemtumia fair enough maybe ya kwenda na kurudi ataitisha fair ingine kama ataitisha we unaweza ongezea kulingana na venye amekaa na nini na nini but sasa hapa na ni litmus paper ya kujua kama huyu msichana eh, ni wife material ama ni ako na something in between the ears listen more M- m- msikize kitu ya kwanza vile tu amelad kwa hiyo keja yako ameanza sijui kwa appreciate oh, sijui oh, kuna kaa poa kuna nukia poa umepika nini 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 utajua kama kwanza ni gold digger na ukishari rise tu hivi ni gold digger ka ati oh hiyo gari yako inakaa oh sijui nini ameanza kutaja taja tu materials eh, kwanza hapo weka question marks na red flags hizo ziweke kwa stop hali then wewe mkimaliza maneno zako zote utakuja ku review kidogo kidogo or even eh, mpeleke mwambie hauna shope mpatie elfu ngapi ama tuseme squeeze elfu tatu imekuwa uh, hakuna pesa mpatie elfu tano and then shope mefika super haya mwambie edia na anakufanyia shope akiingia pale kwa popcorns ama something sweet sweet hapo sijui chocolate sijui nini jua hapa lakini akipita ile side ya unga uone ameshika paketi zake tatu mbili hivyo mchele pale amepick ame, ame some other stuffs there ka ka ka, ka li, lita tano za mafuta pale hmm? serious pale amechukua chukua e, sabuni tishu nini nini hapo weka double tick unajua huyo ni mtu ako na hapa ashaanza kukufanyia hesabu ya whole man lakini ukiona mtu anaku anaenda ana pick tu vitu weird weird pale tutamtamu oh keki ka juice kale kadogo si ile ya, ya kudilute hiyo bado ni poa Eh, but ukiangalia mienendo yake uone kwa hiyo 5k na uchukue hiyo value ya ile vitu amenunua eh, ukiona kile kitu amenunua na hii side ingine aziwiani huyo atia maneno yake papo hapo point number 2 eh, so many ladies have been discouraged kufulia wanaume guo eh, at every weekend unaenda unafua unapakia guo ni nini unapaga vitu zake pale pale lakini side chick anakuja on mande so so many ladies have been discouraged kutufanyia hizo house chores hata usikubali afanye wewe jifanyie kazi zako so you have been surviving without her si hizo siku mbili tatu wamekuja aone ataanza ku eh, kuangalia ni kama usimuoneshe uko mvivu i know men we are uh, very lazy when it come to Uh, utensils clothing uh, washing of clothes and other house chores but in this particular test because you are about to test your future wife usikubali achukue anything usikubali aoshaoshe vitu uh, usikubali wewe afanye fanye vitu mingi uh, na 
ukiona maybe ame, ameanza kukuwa agitated ama ameanza kukuwa annoyed ukifanya hizo vitu just no huyo die wife material na wife asiri huyo die wife material lakini ukiona hii kinyangarika ingine imekaa hivi kama what we call lizard wakati wa jua kinyakaa hivi kama alengeza boy wangu anajua kupika acha pike just no umeporo umepatana na <laughs> umepatana na the head of uh, gold diggers association of kenya hapo toroka mbio point number three. ya kuangalia ujue alede hayuko idha yako hayuko interest rate na wewe eh kunyimwa wanaume eh wanaume wanaume eh wanaume hatufai kunyimwa kwa rights mwanaume hafai kunyimwa unless the lady is going through her monthly period or she is not in the mood so yeah sometimes you can look at the her moods uone hayuko in the moods hiyo una, unakubali but ukienda mwezi ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu kangethe ya nne what are you doing there eda toka toka kwenda kabisa toka eh. what are you doing there toka neda kabisa toka neda kabisa hufai kunyimo anakunyima upade upewe na nani eh anakunyima upewe na nani ladies unamnyima apewe na nani na akianza kutoka toka hapo umeanza kuwika wika oi sichiti so kama anakunyima na hajaoleka na akioleka hiyo kitu utakuwa unaonja haya hiyo nimewaachia eh mkula eh, kule mjue eh, eh, hiyo kitu ni ngumu sana kwa wanaume so another thing ya kuangalia mwanamke ujue huyu hamko pamoja eh hey, kuna kitu wanaume hawapendi na sijui ladies kama wanajua hivyo a lady who is very much uh, free na other men unaona ako free na wanaume kama tuseme nane hivi yes alikuwa na mabeste na don't interfere with her male friends na besties na nini don't interfere with them but kila wakati anasema oh ikonyo is very uh, romantic oh ikonyo takes me out ikonyo 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 what are you praising ikonyo for as a man ukiona tu ameanza ku praise ikonyo or any other male friend or male character just no hapo hakuna nini hakuna relationship inaweza lead to marriage another point yenye sasa itawamaliza itamaliza ladies ni alcoholic ama anatumia mihadarati sana kama ni kidogo hapa na pale taskasida kidogo hapa na pale it's not bad in a controlled regulation ama uptake but if you find yourself as a man in a bar na mwanamke abai yeye anachafua meza kuliko wengine yeye anakunywa kuliko wengine yeye tanka yeye anajua kuvuta hiyo shisha kuliko wengine just no hapo hakuna wife na kama unataka ku na mimi eh, kwa sababu unaona mimi ni your age mate ama unaona ni kama tunatoshana ni kama sina experience go try one tulisema wasichana wa klabu tunawaacha wapi club whether they like it or not tunawaacha wapi club hao sio wakupeleka nyumbani unajua december holidays iko hapa sasa imefika 
then ni kuone umepelekea madhaini lo mtu wa club and with all due respect hatujasema pobe ni mbaya with all due respect hatujasema mihadrati ni mbaya juu gava ingekuwa imefanya hiyo kazi yote ya kufuga but nimekuja tu kuelezea wanaume wenzangu when it's come to marriage don't consider that drunkard woman as your wife she belongs to the streets and she will get back to the streets whether you like it or not utaacha kwa mata ama aache mtoto amemfugia aende akapige sherehe huko muache akae huko leave her akae kwa streets another point ya kujua uh, your wife ama the girlfriend that you have is not a wife material na si mtu anaweza kaa kwa boma wearing zinaitwaje two short two short skirts and too much expensive uh, clothing sio kama tunaelewana what is this inaitago aje hii inakuaga hapa crop top haya mimi sijakataa kama mko kwa beach kama mko somewhere else uh, tuseme ni swimo unaweza put on those short short clothing kuligana na occasion na penye mko lakini si ati uko hapa town wewe die huku sasa hata uwezi ukiagusha kitu uwezi inama ka kitu kanatoshana hapa leave that lady aide pale kwa street za kwenye si unajua kwenye wanakaga kwa hizo street na tunawapenda sana ni hata wengine ni mafansi wangu hapa wacha aende afanye kazi yake huko lakini that's not the lady mwenye unafaa kupeleka kwa nyumba men you should not eat uncovered food tunasikizana tunasikizana tunapenda food pia imefunikwa hmm? sawa hiyo tumemaliza ukiona na kama maybe unajua unaweza pata anavaa hizo fupi fupi ni fupi sana sijasema ni hapa kwa ni ni kwa sawa mimi hapa kwa ni lakini ikirudi huku nyuma sana red flag achana na yeye haya another very strong point msichana wa kukupigia kuku, kila wakati e, nitumie nitumie pesa ya 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 ladies najua mko hapa mnani watch hebu sikizeni as men are uh, very busy taking notes that nowadays men are looking for a, a lady who can also bring something on the table as it to mwili a bring something on the table we have high inflation high cost of living when your man ako down nani atamuinua isipokuwa wewe na sisi ukiprovidea for a man for one week unapiga mdomo village mzima na plot mzima tio umemsaidia umemsaidia ukamuinua oh bla 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 na ni siku moja bili tatu umemsaidia so wanaume take precaution ama caution be very cautious when you see a lady kila wakati ni kuomba pesa kutoka kwako wewe oh, nipeleke out nipeleke sijui nini she is too demanding na yeye hafanyi the same same thing kwako i know i know our role is to provide and to protect but once in a while pia wewe jaribu kufanya fanya the same pia sisi ni tafir poor naona so wanaume asanteni sana kwa hii mkutano yetu ilikuwa ya wanaume peke yake e, kama kuna lady mwenye ame drop hapo pole sana kwa vile tumeogea lakini e, it is what it is e, you know the reason why man decided to, to domesticate a donkey which he found very useful than a zebra 
which is also very beautiful so eh, na point ya kumalizia wanaume kutipata mtoto take care of your kids eh, ukipata wife take care of your wife na provide for them don't be a dead beat dad na be there for your family that wife there that girl there you see mwenye unaona saa hii ameloose body shape kwa sababu amekuzalia watoto wawili watatu alikuwa mrembo na si si ati alitoka kwao kwa sababu e, wazazi wake walikuwa wamechoka na yeye ako na kwao kwenye alikuwa anapendwa vizuri na ako na kwao na hadi ako na pesa yake imagine nowadays ladies have money but they found it very important wakuwe na mwanaume hapo ndio kukuwe na father figure so don't be a disappointed disappointment to them don't let them down and uh, support your ladies love them unconditionally mbebeleze usisikize saa zingine amrex na drukibe na na hao yetu wengine wote venye ni narcissist however they don't want to hear ladies ladies and uh, our moms and our sisters plays a very vital role in development of a man na society. So until next time I was your host Mheshimiwa Benda. Ni nini sana imekuboa hapo? Wewe unaangalia gani ni kwa ladies? Put down there utuambie ukweli wa mambo. Thank you until next time.